Let's go back to ancient Egypt. They, they really do. Egypt, Babylon, you're going to see many of the signs and, and many of the... Uh, this is Christopher Columbus. He was a member, of course, of a secret uh, Illuminati order. Uh, and uh, you notice the Knights Templar crosses in many of the paintings of the three ships uh, yeah. that he brought over. But uh, was his name really Christopher Columbus? No, it was not. Uh, and so there's a lot of uh, secret history uh, involved in all of these hand signs and such. Yeah, Freeman Leaf is that they've taken on the name Columbia. You know, it's our goddess. Ah. This is the male representation of wow. Columbia. You know, this is the first time I've ever heard that uh, is said in public, but I believe it is true. District of Columbia, as you mentioned, the nation of Columbia. And, and we have a uh, if anybody would like to see her picture, maybe, I don't think it's a good representation, but we have Columbia Movie Studios. Yes. Yeah. You know, the gal with the Roman toga, and she has a torch, you know, that she's holding up and such. Ah. Well, I set you up here a little clip here. Uh, okay. Because, you know, the hook'em horn sign. Now, this one, you know, people say, I love you, or, uh, you know, they say it means so many yeah. things, but... It has always been something that rock and rollers use, and, and always been in connection with Satan. It has. Uh, at, at first, you when when you had the really deep. Um, back back in the 80s, early 90s, especially the and 70s, the the heavy metal, satanic rock people, you know, uh, that's when it really began. And Ozzy Osbourne, I remember one of the uh, concerts. I never went to him, but uh, I read that he actually had an altar call for the devil, yeah. and said, "Come forward and worship the devil and give your life to the devil." And uh, all the kids would be doing this kind of sign. Now, I, I, again, I, I I look at an ignorance factor here. Right. Uh, and I give people, you know, I'm not saying that everybody that does that sign is a Satanist. And, of course, what we just saw was the University of Texas sign and uh, the Longhorn sign. And I'm not at all impugning the integrity uh, of uh, Texas Longhorn fans. I'm one myself. But, uh, again, here again we have a sign that can be used for good just to indicate the Texas Longhorn football team or for evil. Well, open witchcraft. I mean, we, we practice witchcraft openly these days. Roll this clip here, Shag. Uh, uh, we have Matthew McConaughey, yeah. uh, who, uh, yeah. Uh, for a &M. That makes some talk here. you got to put a lot of thought into this hex because it, it's really powerful to really be up here doing this for these red candles, right? Really right, red. The tradition of the hex, lighting a red candle, goes back to the 1940s. The truth is, when it was killing the team for a number of years in a row, and a couple of students decided to go to a palm reader. So they hired a local witch to put a hex on. She said light red candles to keep them burning. And we broke their curse um, in their undefeated season, 21 to nothing. Since then, uh, Texas kicked the crap out of it. And on this 64th anniversary of Madame Hipple's spell, these hexers mean business. seen then Freeman and you have captured it on film it is indeed an occult ceremony now they may say it's all for good and fun and that's what the Shriners uh, who make an oath to Mohammed and Allah they may say oh we don't really mean it it's all good fun and everything but I wonder what God looks upon lighting red candles and doing hexes saying we want to kill our opponent yes. uh, and then even the longhorn sign maybe when you combine all those things together uh, I wouldn't think that would be invoking uh, the good forces, let's just put it that way. Uh, you know, I was not really raised with a religion at all. 
but I have conclusively proven to myself that Satan rules this planet. Mm -hmm. So many things I've done, the corporate logos, I've looked into Columbia and her connections to Lucifer. Uh, all of these things show me constantly that our leaders are Satanists. Now what you said is a cardinal principle. The Bible itself says Satan is God, with a small g now, of this world. Right. Temporarily, for whatever reason, God is allowing him a, a, to reign. Uh, the book of Revelation says he's furious because he knows he has but a short time. But you are right, and the signs are everywhere, but people don't know it. That's interesting because you say you're not a Christian, and yet you're more aware than 99.999 go out to the uh, infinity of the Christians that I talk to. I don't know of any pastor that knows what you know about these things, they, uh, that our culture is permeated with satanic symbols, signs, images, and doctrines. And yet, the average pastor out there is, is saying, give us money and you'll get rich and, uh, you know, just into the most, in a way, they're in a form of black magic themselves, the average pastor. Or think positive, make positive confessions. None of these things having anything to do with true Christianity, but a lot to do with uh, New Age occultism. Yes. Thank you.